Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how you can appropriately limit to humans and exclude animal studies in PubMed. Last week I showed you how to limit by age groups without using medical subject headings as the criteria, and today I'll show you something very similar. So let's just start with a basic search in PubMed. Now this could be a big search, it could be a multi-term search, that's totally what I would expect, but because I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use a mesh term. I'm going to use brain injuries, comma, traumatic. And because it's a mesh term, I know it's a mesh term. I already looked it up in the mesh database, which is down here under explore. I'm going to put the mesh tag on it. So it's a medical subject heading, and I'll click search. 21,895 results. Now what I've seen some people do when they're searching for a systematic review or other types of evidence synthesis, they'll say, well, I don't want to see animal studies. And so they'll come down here. I'll just show you from the, from the start. They'll go to additional filters. They'll click species and they'll choose humans, show. And then you have to choose humans again, show. And we get 19,002 results. So we're seeing we got studies that are limited to humans. Cool, right? Not really, because what we did was only limit to articles which have been indexed with medical subject headings. So we cut off a big portion of potentially relevant literature. Remember that PubMed has Medline, which is indexed with medical subject headings, PMC, which is not, and then some in-process records in the NCBI bookshelf, and some maybe potentially other records deposited to meet public access policies, which may never be indexed with medical subject headings. Let me clear this. That search, limiting to humans, is the equivalent of doing this. And humans mesh. So we're just cutting out a big swath of literature, which we maybe would like to see in our comprehensive review. And your review probably won't have 19,000 results. You're going to have more than one concept, more than one term. Just remember I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. Something else that I've seen people do is say, well, I don't want to see animals. So they'll say not animals mesh. So we have the medical subject heading term, not animals mesh search, and we should get about 114 results. This is problematic because guess what humans are? Humans are animals. Let me show you. I'll go to PubMed. So we're going to go to the mesh database right here under explore. And I'm going to look up humans and blow your mind because it has blown mine. Let's see, search, and we look at humans, and we come down the tree here, and we see the long line of medical subject heading terms in the hierarchy that takes us up the tree to animals. So that search that resulted in 114 results was excluding animals including humans. Okay, so there's a better way to do this. What we'll do instead is type out our little search here, and then we're going to use a variation of what is supplied in Chapter 4 of the Cochrane Handbook in the Technical Supplement on Searching. It has a filter for identification of randomized trials in Medline, and the last part of that filter is an exclusion of animal studies. And now it's a little different, but it's basically the same. And here's how it works. We're going to say, here's our search, but we don't want to see things that are indexed with animals, mesh, but we do want to see things that are indexed with humans. And it's very confusing, and you'll have to forgive me for not doing a very good job of explaining, but we're saying the results of our search, not indexed with animals, but if it's humans and animals, we'd like to see that. So it's a double knot, because there's a potential that maybe some records are published studies of both animal and human studies, or like we saw, humans falls under the mesh term animals, and it's very convoluted. And so if you don't know what you're doing, it's very dangerous, right? This is why you should always work with a medical librarian or someone who's very familiar with searching. Now we'll click search. 
and we get 19,116 results. So the difference there was 114. Let me show you in advance what happened and what we did. We tried just brain injuries, comma, traumatic, 21,895. Brain injuries, traumatic, limited to the humans, medical subject heading filter, 19,002. Equivalently, we just used the human's mesh term, 19,002. However, when we said not animals, it took out all human and animal studies because humans are animals in more ways than one, and we got 114 results, and none of those looked really great if we were doing a big search on traumatic brain injuries. So what we did instead was say, give us the results of our search. We don't want animals by itself, but we do want animals and humans or humans where it falls under the broader heading of animals, and we got 19,116 results. This allows us to exclude animal studies, but not rely completely on medical subject heading indexing. There should be some results in here that don't have any medical subject heading indexing. And if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. If you're searching for human studies, good luck, be careful, work with a librarian. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.